Hey guys, Future Gohan is J2 here. And uh, some more things that I bought uh, came in the mail. Two more things. There's still one more thing I'm waiting for. But um, yeah, let's get started. Alright, I got uh, the Cartoon Network Bing Bang Boing Bouncy Ball. Uh, Eduardo. I like this quote. Super bouncy action. I could totally picture Blue saying that. But, uh, yeah, I got Eduardo. It was about $3. Uh, Toy Wiz was selling it on Amazon, so I'm like, you know what, why not? Collect and display all ten. Man, I wish. But, um, on Amazon, Ed and Laszlo are going for, I want to say $300. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I checked on there. And same with Blue. Blue, Ed, and Laszlo are on Amazon for $300. And I'm like, ah, no. Um, but Toy Wiz is selling, was selling, like, two of Eduardo. So, um... I just went ahead and got one, and they were cheap, so there's probably, like, one more. I, I know that the same person that's selling the blue, uh, Ed and Laszlo, is also selling an Eduardo for $300. Uh, so hurry, if any of you guys want to get this, I'd hurry up and go to Toy Wiz on Amazon and get this for $3. With shipping and handling, it was, like, 5 almost $6. But I'm telling you right now, that sure is a hell of a lot better than, um... <laughs> then 300. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, toss them, roll them, roll them, and boing them high. Uh, crazy tunes appear to move inside. But uh, sadly, um, I, I won't be taking this out of the package because there is no Cartoon Network. Whoops, there's no Cartoon Network logo on the figure itself. Uh, but there's the logo there and there. So uh, I may take this out of the package if I can find a way to be able to put it back. Like, if I can just, like, like carefully take that off, you know, then I'd, then I'd play around with the bounce ball. Because this bounce ball, supposedly, is being able to bounce high. Uh, and I think that'd be pretty awesome. But um, until I can find a way to, to be able to keep the case intact, it may, it's going to have to stay intact for a while. But anyway, it's time to get on to the next thing I bought. Hi, Hi, Puffy, Amiyumi, rock forever. And now let, let me give you, give you guys a little history on the uh, Hi Hi Puffy Yami Yumi DVDs that have been released into the U.S. There have only been two D uh, American U.S. releases of Hi Hi Puffy Yami Yumi. There was uh, the first volume, which was Let's Go, or something like that, and then there was this volume, which was Rock Forever. Nowhere on this case can you read, does it say, you know, volume two, whatever. It's just got, oh, wait, no, man, I take that back. And the second volume. But uh, on Amazon, it didn't say anything about their second volume. So what I had to do, this one was the cheapest. Let's go with like a dollar something, but this one was only 88 cents. So I'm like, you know what? Why not? Uh, so I bought it. and um, uh, But the only way I found out that this was volume two was because they also had the Japanese releases on there of the DVDs. and But the only on there, they're labeled volume one, volume two, etc. But uh, you actually, there's also the title next to it. It says Rock Forever. Let's go, and let's go is volume one. But this is high up of you and me, volume one, uh, volume two, ugh. Uh, and uh, this Cartoon Network logo, and it's there as well. So uh, yeah, let's get to unboxing this. Taking it out, shrink wrap. I really like how the case is pink. I mean, you know, I know what you're thinking. You're like, you named yourself after one of the strongest characters in Dragon Ball Z, and you care about the case being pink. But um, I think it's a nice touch because like. I mean, look, it's got all this glittery stuff on it. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's impressive. I've, I've never seen a uh, a DVD that has glitter on it. I mean, I, I find that pretty impressive. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Okay, I got it. And luckily, no more of those protective tapes. So now we can just go ahead and open this up. And it actually doesn't leave, like, a lot of glittery things leave, a, like, a glitter residue on your fingers, but these don't. I'm, I'm not surprised, though, but still. And now that looks pretty nice. Still got the glitter and stuff, so that's really cool. Uh, I really like the way this was packaged, so, yeah, it's got really nice packaging. Um, but, yeah, this is what I, this is what I got. Uh, I still have one more thing coming in the mail. No idea when it's going to come into the mail, so stay tuned for that. Catch you guys next time.